Mr. Cheese, that's one of the plot points of Tales of Monkey Island, and, and it's <laughs> yeah, he failed in that one. Always forgot. And let's slip the dogs of war. Release the Kraken! Not in the face, not in the face. For oh, the ship cannot stop the straight captain. There's no place like home, there's no place like home. This was only supposed to be a three hour tour. We're just jamming in all the references. Yep. Well. That was a miserable journey. Gee, no cushy government was job not is worth this much it. grief. <laughs> Welcome to Jambalaya <laughs> Island, home of swashbuckling pirates and spooky voodoo curses. And tacky themed restaurants. And tourists. Do I be hearing piping music wafting through those artificial trees? What are you guys talking about? This is a perfectly normal pirate town. that's been completely taken over by the corporate tourist industry. Gee, Ozzy must have been really busy here. Oh, I need a drink. I've got repairs to make. I'll stay here and, um, uh, guard the ship. That is fair. Keep away from the flowers, Otis. Keep away from the flowers. Real pirates don't play volleyball. Of course, the hooks and eye patches tend to keep them away from most sports that place an emphasis on inflatable balls and acute depth perception. Ouch. Well, I guess he has a point. Yep. It's got a map on one side and a picture of the ultimate insult on the other. The ultimate insult looks like it's comprised of three parts. A silver monkey head, a bronze hat, and a golden man. I wonder how it works. It's got a map on one side and a picture of the ultimate insult on the other. The ultimate insult, a silver monkey head, a bronze hat, and a golden man. I wonder how. I, I didn't realize we were playing Legend of the Hidden Temple. Yep. Also time to say hi to somebody we recognized from the last game. Murray? Murray the Evil Skull? Guybrush? Guybrush the Mortal Pirate? Wow, it is a small world after all. How did you escape from Monkey Island? The last time I saw you, you were sitting on a shelf in LeChuck's demonic amusement park. Ah, that's a tale of heart-stopping malice and evil. Well, naturally. It all started a few months ago. As usual, I was sitting on my shelf, working on my plans to conquer the world. <laughs> Suddenly, the amusement park exploded with a blast of demonic heck fire. They had no problem saying hell earlier in the game. Mm. Did the anti-Matterhorn finally rip a hole in the space-time continuum, as predicted by most reputable scientists? No, it was LeChuck. Apparently his flaming beard melted its way through his icy tomb, freeing him. I knew I should have given him a shave before I left. But what caused the explosive blast of demonic heckfire? Oh, he was just <laughs> letting off a little steam. Steam, get it? <laughs> I thought it was funny. So, after LeChuck escaped, how did you end up here? After his escape, LeChuck began destroying his theme park in a fit of demonic rage. Although, personally, I think he was just colossally embarrassed by the whole thing. I mean, really, what kind of a demonically evil scheme involves roller coasters and cotton candy, anyway? Enough editorializing. How'd you wind up here? Oh, that. Well, one of the explosions flung me out to sea, where, ironically, I landed on the shattered remnants of a Midway dart game. After weeks at sea, I drifted ashore on this delightfully evil isle where Ozzy Mandrill, a man after my own blackened soul, gave me a job at this fine establishment. Mwah! You know, the tale of your exodus wasn't particularly filled with heart-stopping malice and evil. Are you kidding? It had LeChuck, Ozzy, and yours truly. How much more evil can you get? Good point. What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm the greeter slash bouncer of Planet Threepwood. The creme de la creme in pirate theme family style, Planet all together evil dining. Planet Threepwood. Hey! All right, I added the evil part. I can't imagine how you could be a very good bouncer. Why not? Well, for starters, you've got no arms. Evil needs no arms. Watch. You, over there with the face. Who, who me? Yes, you! I want you out of the restaurant now! Oh, but I'm not... Talk to the hand, mortal! Uh, what hand? 
Don't play smart with me, fleshbag. Out, out, out! Impressive. I don't imagine you get much repeat business, though. So, how do you like this job? Personally, I preferred it when I was just the greeter. It really allowed me plenty of time to work on my evil dreams. But when Floppo the Bouncer Monkey ran away, they needed someone to double on bouncer duty, and I really needed the money. Murray, what do you need money for? To finance my diabolical schemes, of course. Do you have any idea how much it costs to hire a fleet of Scandinavian barbarians these days? How would you like to become an integral part of a powerful voodoo talisman? Is it an evil talisman? Potentially. What's it called? The ultimate insult. The ultimate... Don't be naive, mortal. The ultimate insult is too powerful to be wielded by the likes of you. But I need a headpiece, and you'd be perfect. See? You fool! This diagram clearly indicates you need a monkey head. I am a human head. Well, I just thought... Well, think a little harder. I want no part of this ultimate insult tomfoolery. But, 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 we want you. Yeah, you're, you were the best part of the last game. I've got to go. Stop by any time for more pirate-themed fun and evil. <laughs> well, that happened. Oh, hey, matey. Hi, Murray. Set sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood's most famous... Pardon me. Yes. What are you doing? I'm admiring the craftsmanship of this statue of Jambalaya's most famous pirate, Tiny Lafitte. What made Tiny so famous? He was the friendly pirate of Jambalaya Island. He robbed I want from some the band Jambalaya and now. to the nice. <laughs> and he always said please and thank with you some ribs. twice. He's the perfect mm -hmm. symbol of the new, non-threatening Jambalaya Island. What happened to the top of the statue? Looks like someone gave Tiny a bad haircut. I'm not sure. Rumor has it that some vandalist pirates from Nutton at all stole the statue. Nutton at all. But I don't believe it. Nice. They do a pretty good job of keeping those types off of Jambalaya. I'd rather not talk about Tiny right now. Fine. Can, can we help you? Yeah. Fine, you? No we're, we're talking here. <laughs> Micro groggery. Welcome to the finest micro groggery in town. <laughs> uh. Hi. Howdy. What can I do you for? I'd like a drink, please. You got some ID? No. Well, then I can't give you the good stuff. But I can give you this new low inebriation grog-like beverage. It's called Grog Junior. We developed it here in our micro groggery for people just like yourself. It's got just enough alcohol in it to stun a skinny parrot. Well, what's the point of that? Here, try some and tell me what you think. Mm, maybe later. That's fair. Right in the pants. What is that thing over there with a saddle on it? That, my friend, is the menacing mechanical manatee. What the heck is a manatee? The manatee is a marine mammal that grazes on seagrass and other plant life in shallow waters. They are typically 9 to 10 feet long and weigh about a thousand pounds. That doesn't sound menacing at all. Sounds more like a swimming cow. Oh? Will you try to snatch the grass out of a manatee's mouth and see how menacing it gets? What is this mechanical manatee here for? Well, mostly for entertainment. But as a promotional special, we're currently giving away a Planet Threepwood coupon for a complimentary monkey mug meal to anybody who could ride the manatee at the highest setting. Oh no. And this manatee talk is too strange for me. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Have a nice day there. You too. We may or may not come back to the manatee. <laughs> hmm. They're coming back to the manatee. Well, I would assume you would prefer this over the other alternative to this puzzle. 
Right, we've actually got a choice of two oh, ways to handle it. Yes. Handle a thing. We have two oh, options for uh, something. One is the manatee. The other, we'll get to in a minute or so. Star Buccaneers. Thanks. I hate it. Touristy stuff mostly. Lots of coffee and a Star Buccaneers logo coffee cup. There's a sale on coffee beans. Oh my word! Really? Tress McNeil, is that you? Mistake. You almost gave me a heart attack! Sounds like it. You know, in the last place I was, I swear, I almost gave, gave someone help from help another department the heart attack at least three times. They just never saw me coming. I'm a mighty pirate. Surrender your women. Very good, sir. You almost sound like a real pirate. Can I make you a coffee drink? Never mind. Pirates don't drink coffee. I just remembered a previous engagement. Bye. Have a nice day and visit <laughs> us again soon. All right. Oh, they're there. That delicious mini bagel you're about to sample has Star Buccaneers' own Schmearwiz on it. A wonderfully delightful blend of artificial cream cheese and salmon lock bits with the convenience of a spray-on can. Um, great. We're giving away free samples today as a promotion, so please help yourself. Well, here goes nothing. Oh. oh. Good gravy, that tastes horrible. Right in my pants. <coughs> Welcome back Ladies to New Plan Free Blood. Madames and Messieurs, brigands and wenches. I want to be a brigand. <laughs> we'll come back to that one too, but yeah. One option, the manatee. The other option... I have a feeling I'm going to... Stay oh no. <laughs> oh no. This <laughs> guy brush. Of course it is, of course it is. Welcome to Stan's Real Estate Emporium. Where a deal's a deal and the real estate is real. Oh, uh, we couldn't get the voice actor from last time, could they? Nope. Tell me about uh, these I am going to remove yourself a paper these and read them. They're full of all sorts of great information about stands, timeshares. Take one, they're free. That's the kind of guy I am. Just giving things away. <laughs> I thought you were selling life insurance. Turned into a dead end. Uh, my my dead, brother dead, won us a... Uh, Seriously, no money in it. A uh, just free, like, weekend vacation because of this timeshare thing. We had to go to the timeshare spiel. But... He was trying to win a car. He was unsuccessful. Why is your desk outside? Ah, it's a beautiful day. How can you work inside on a day like this? Why are you really outside? Just a small problem with the local vermin. It's the problem Kikyo, small. Kill the vermin themselves are actually quite <laughs> large. But it's nothing to worry about. It'll be taken care of right away. It's just a minor setback. What's important is that the timeshare units are, legally speaking, practically vermin-free. You're hawking real estate now? Timeshares, my good man. Looking for a second home? Investment property? A little extra income? Look no further. You can't Are afford not to take advantage thing? of this once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> opportunity. And for the next 24 hours, for just listening to my pitch, you get a coupon for a free oh, monkey money. Oh, the BPI has it. Uh, Limit one per customer while supplies last. The house of the be being illegal thing Wyoming. is the being possibly sold a timeshare is now Ooh, the thing right there. of uh, I'm not interested. illegal action to cover these days. Hmm. According to the radio. I'll just be on my way. You can't afford to wait too long. This deal won't last. So yeah, either the option is we listen to Stan's pitch, or we ride the manatee. Welp. <laughs> we listen to the pitch. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that Guybrush doesn't need his reproductive organs. Just <laughs> okay. In that case, we gotta go get the coffee. Because the other option would be using that jar of glue to stick on the manatee and ride him. <laughs> oh my. Madames and messieurs, brigands and wenches, welcome to Planet Threepwood, the piratiest place on Earth. Nope, don't. Guybrush, get back! No! <laughs> he knows what's coming, he wants no part of it. <laughs> Welcome to Star Buccaneer's Coffee House. Can I help you, sir? We are going to need a clatchy in coffee, coffee, sir. Excellent. We have many fine drinks. We want to see from. the truth of all things. I'll have your coffee of the day. Our featured coffee is the iced Crogacino. I'll have one of those then. Excellent choice, sir. One iced Crocodino. Three hundred and fifty jambalaya I hate it bucks. Already. Well, then I don't have three hundred and fifty jambalaya bucks. Oh well, I'm sorry then, sir. It's well worth it though. We're offering free refills with every purchase. I'll come back when I have something figured out. Have a nice day and visit us again soon. Um, sir. I'm not sure what you're doing, but I'm sure it's against company policy. Well, that does never stop. I'd like a refill, please. That's a souvenir mug, not a coffee cup. Darn. <laughs> Yoink! Ah, oh, but now we're gonna have to drink coffee, and this is the worst timeline. Still offering that free refill? Yep. You betcha, sir. I'll take care of that for you. Can't get enough of my sweet coffee goodness, can you? Uh, just get me my Gragacino, please. Alrighty, coming right up. Thank you. I like the Star Felix from some much more. If nothing else for us, I'm not working a Star Starbucks knockoff. <laughs> I ain't fond of Starbucks either. I, I just flat out can't do. I don't like coffee, and I can't do coffee. I just don't like it. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Talk about your eye openers. I feel like I just drank an entire coffee plantation. Doggy and all. <laughs> Hi, Last Dan. time I actually drank I coffee, I needed about four to five sugars in it just, to, just for it to be drinkable. Deal. It'd be my pleasure. You have to be touched, and as a bonus, limit one. Give me the pinch. Smart decision, my friend. You'll thank me after you've heard about this exciting opportunity. Stay with me. The full pitch takes just under three hours. Eep. Be prepared to be stunned by what I have to tell you. What's the best investment for your hard-earned cash? The stock market? No, too volatile. Duck food futures. No, ducks have short lifespans. Porcelain figurines. Yeah. Uh-oh, oops, too fragile. What then? Two words, time, share. That's right, real estate. Let me show you how a small investment today can compound into an incredible fortune in just a few short generations. So, who's excited and ready to invest, huh? Uh, gosh, that sounds interesting, but I need to check with my wife first. You bet. Gotta check with the missus. Wouldn't want to wind up in the old doghouse. <laughs> right. I mean, where would the piranha poodles sleep? Right. Well, thanks for listening. Have this coupon for a free monkey mug at Planet Threepwood from your old friend, Stan. Die, Stan. <laughs> I'll just be on my way. You can't afford to wait too long! This deal won't last! I think I'll take my chances. Oh, I think the Gragacino's wearing off. So let me just save again. 
since we made progress. By drinking coffee and stab. Step inside and sample our fun-filled genuine pirate cuisine. <laughs>